Hi, and welcome to a brief overview of database searching with the College of Alameda Library databases. So I am on the College of Alameda Library homepage. I'm going to scroll down a bit. In the middle, you'll see the article databases box, so I'll select that. And here are listed all of the databases that you have access to as a College of Alameda student. So one I particularly like is called Academic Search Complete. It's an interdisciplinary database, so it has research from all different fields and disciplines, and it includes some books as well as peer-reviewed journals. So there's a lot of good stuff in here, and I'm just going to click on it, and we'll go to it. So as long as you're registered for a course at College of Alameda, you have access to this and other databases. All you need to do is select College of Alameda Student, and then log in with your Peralta portal uh, password and username. So here's what it looks like. It is an EBSCO database. The only reason you'll know you're searching Academic Search Complete is because it says so right here in tiny green type. You are welcome to search in the single search box. I like the advanced search just because it allows me to space out my keyword, keywords a little better and take a look at what I'm actually looking for. So I'm going to look for my topic related to history of incarceration or prison, so in California or New York. And I've just selected some keywords and I'll probably change it up maybe, but just some things to keep in mind as you're using keywords in these databases. You can combine them with these and, or, or not uh, operators, either by selecting the box or typing them in the box. And connects your two terms here, so history, prisons, um, and makes sure that anything that comes back has both those terms somewhere in the text or the record for the article, or is a way to link synonyms or related terms. So if I, I not particular, I could use either New York or California. I'll use or, and that way one of those terms will come back, but not necessarily both. And then lastly, if you have a phrase or multiple words that you want to find, you can put them in quotes and it will find the whole uh, phrase or string of text. So I'll search this and you'll notice if you get the results. We have about 365. They're ordered by relevance and then on the left hand side if you want to narrow this down even further there's some ways to do that. So we can limit to just scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles. If we want to find just the research that's been published in the last, say, 10 years or so, I'll just move this slider over. And now you see we're down to 107. There's other ways to narrow it down further, but I'll stick with that for now. And I'm just going to take a look at this first article here. Information that you'll need when you're using this article, if you're using this article to cite it. So the title is here, the author, the journal that it's published in, volume, or excuse me, the publication year, the volume issue and page numbers, and then the DOI you might need as well. So if you have all of those elements, then you should be good to go for creating an MLA or an APA uh, citation in your research paper annotated bibliography. A few more things to note. So you have these subject terms or like hashtags for research topics. So if you click on some of these, you'll find other related research that also has that same subject term or hashtag. And then you'll also see an abstract. So this describes briefly what this article is about. If it sounds interesting, I can go to the left-hand side here and either look at the uh, HTML full text, the web page for the article, but I like the PDF full text because it shows how it would actually appear if it was in print. 
So here's the beautiful print article. And we can scroll through it. You'll see that it includes um, different headings and then images as well as references. So if there's some works that are mentioned in this article, you can also check out the references to see um, if there's other related research you want to check out. Okay, and then we can download this article just by downloading it here. You can email it to yourself, you can save it to your computer, you can put it into Google Drive. or, And then on the right hand side you have options to, for example, cite it automatically. So these are some computer generated citations. They might be okay, but you want to double check to make sure they're accurate before you use them in your paper. And with that, I will leave you to it. If you have questions, let us know. Thanks.